R&R file that we saved in the previous video um, with the uh, Flash software, this is, what, this is what it actually looks like. You can see timestamp information there, which is useless information, and that's the key R&R information which will generate our heart rate variability, our root mean standard square deviation and so forth from that. So QBIOS will only accept this one column here. This is the only information it cares about. Okay, so how do we get around this problem if this file does not save into QBIOS as is? We'll just copy it. Um, you've got two options. You can either save it in Excel, Microsoft Excel, if you do that, you've got to change the formats and features because it only saves a timestamp in there, which is problematic. I tend to use a free version of uh, Excel. It's not the same version. It's uh, um, called LibreOffice. And the advantage of using LibreOffice is when you do paste it in, it gives you this information box and asks you, how do you want to separate the information? Well, if you click on space like that, so it's separating on a basis that there's a space there. So it's separating the important R&R information from all the, the crappy timestamp information which we don't need. Um, so click on OK, and there we are. There's our useful information. Just copy it over. And all you've got to do then is go back to your original R&R file and just delete all the crap and paste in just the um, useful information. And save, save as in the same file format and save it to your desktop and you can import that into uh, QBIOS. Um, that's all I'm doing for this particular um, tutorial. The final um, tutorial, I think part five, will be uh, importing this now modified R&R file into QBIOS and actually generating the heart rate variability analysis from that, the final step before SPSS. Okay, thank you very much.